Uh, hello, I'm Deacon. Uh, BCD's not here this week, so I'm taking charge. He got in a tragic accident and has to get his letters readjusted. Uh, introduce yourself, you fuck. I'm Vendetta. I'm C. Taylor. My name's Ariel. So, oh, uh, this is gonna be like a sh it's gonna be like a short podcast. Like I'm aiming for forty five minutes. Uh, I want some people to be able to like go get some stuff to drink and all that before game night starts, which is gonna be right after this. Uh, so you guys are gonna be playing like Town of Salem and shit. Um, you know? Yeah, you guys... pretty, we were playing earlier. It was pretty fun. Yeah, oh yeah. We we're getting uh, a few practice rounds in. You guys get lynched. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm sure every single one of us did. I always play the black character, so it's historically accurate. <laughs> nice. And that's our daily racial slur of the day. I didn't say anything racist. Not yet. Well, you will. I mean... Oh shit, I gotta turn that noise off. Uh, so what did you guys do this week? Like, what's going on? Uh, I don't know. Just working. Just yeah, working. I'm pretty sure that's me too. Climbing the ranks. I'm... I literally spent so much time with my horse. Oh yeah, you're a horse person, aren't you? <laughs> have yeah, you? Like well, that. have you fisted your horse's throat this week? Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> what the heck? It's a, it's no, a thing. You only do. You only shove your hands down his throat if he's being bad, and he wasn't being bad today. That of seems course. like a pretty interesting way to punish it. Like, are you going to carry that on with your kids or? Oh, I'm not having kids. Yeah, she has horses, I didn't you that. hear? It's like crazy cat lady, but it's worse. And it's expensive. <laughs> it's way more expensive. Yeah, I mean, fucking, what's it cost to feed a horse? They eat hay or something? Oats? <laughs> hay yeah, or something. He, he eats hay, and he eats, um, bee pulp, and he eats hay cubes. Um, the fuck is a hay stuff. cube?! <laughs> Like a sugar cube? Just... No, it's like hay, but in a cube form. Like are, we talk... of... are we talking big cubes? Small cubes? No, no, little cubes. Tiny cubes. What's the point of that? I know. It's roughage. It keeps them fat. Is it like astronaut food and then it expands in a stomach? or? It's Neapolitan. No. Oh, you sorry. Gotta, you, gotta, you gotta soak it before you... Yeah, there you go. There's a picture. That looks like fucking bad weed. Well, you know. Bad. Horses love weed. I mean, not when it's this fucking dank. Just in case you uh, <laughs> miss your uh, daily dosage of PCD angriness, now you have Angry Deacon. <laughs> you're fucking your horse? I'm not angry! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what is this thing? Like, I'm a bully, I'm angry, I'm... Not a bully, you're just kind of miffed. I've been a bully before, is what they've called me. You guys missed that story, then. I mean, we I were, get. we were, no, we were actually talking about people being bullies today. Uh, were, were you? Oh yeah, that was a long discussion. Ariel was by far the worst bully. Care to expand? No, yeah, I wasn't. No, 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 no. Well, uh, no, it was more like you were, you were just kind of a bitch. That is a difference. Yeah, I yeah. wasn't mean. I wasn't mean because I, I felt. Like I needed to raise myself above others. I just didn't care. Well, so what is the story of this? Horrible. When I was in grade ten, I believe. Grade ten, you um, fucking foreigner. I, yeah. I uh, I was in this class with a bunch of girls that were like super keeners, and they like always got their work done on time and blah blah blah. And I just didn't care enough to do it. So the uh, the one day that we had something that we needed to hand in. I told my teacher, I didn't finish it, obviously. I, uh, I told the teacher, I was like, hey, I didn't get that done yet. Um, do you mind if I take like an extra day and I'll get it done tonight? I was like, I was, I've been kind of busy, so I just mm -hmm. didn't have time. And he was like, yeah, okay, that's fine. And then some of the girls were like, she was busy, oh, cry me a river. <laughs> and I just looked at them like straight in the eye and I was like, only if you drown in it. <laughs> wow. Cry me wow. a river. Haven't heard that That's in a while. I I would have been one of those people in high school, but I wouldn't have told you. I would have just kind of looked at you out of the corner of my eye and been like, "Yeah, you were really busy." What? 
Thanks, DJ. You're welcome. No, no. That would have been me. I, would, I, I, I called everyone slut. I don't care. Even men. Yeah, no, men, men are the biggest sluts. Es especially, especially men. Say especially men. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Dude, me? I was a huge slut. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Nice. So I know we had, like, we had, like, a dedicated, like, uh, Civil War discussion already. Have any of you seen it? Uh, I have. No, I, I haven't. Away. I haven't. I try to stay away from the superhero. Movies None of you've seen it. It's just too saturated. Oh my god! I can't even talk about it. I mean, I'm I read the wicket. It. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see it for sure. I just don't like going when there's crowds, so I just haven't gotten there yet. You suck. Shut your mouth. I'm sorry. I'm sure it was an okay movie. It's just not I okay. well, I yeah. hated it the first time I saw it. And then after I saw it a second time, I felt better. So the first time you're like, "Oh, that was awful." I'm well, gonna go see it again. Well, no, okay. See, uh, the, the I don't know. I've heard when I heard that. I heard this movie co like when I heard it come out, like it got announced. I'm like, "All right, I'm gonna read the comics. I'm gonna like get so immersed into this whole storyline." Mm -hmm. And I did, and the comics were great. But the first time I got mad because it was so different from the comics, and then I pulled myself away from. It. I'm like, well. Since they didn't really have access to Spider-Man for this, I guess I had to go down this route. And then I watched it the second time, not comparing it to the comics. I'm like, for what it was, it was pretty good. Well, you know, the comics have this huge, deep backstory, and you have, like, what, 200 issues just to go over things? Yeah. And putting that into a two-hour movie isn't going to work. I mean, yeah, that's true. there were just, like, a lot of key points that they missed. That's the same for any book or comic that's been made into a movie, though. That's, that's just true, how it is. Oh, yeah, but I feel like it's different adapting, like, a 200-page novel into a movie instead of, you know, a 200 collection of comics that are all 10 pages. I mean, uh, whoa, 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 21 pages. <laughs> Calm down. Well, I never read comics, okay? I'm not a big comic guy. Neither did I, but just for this movie. But then you get, like movies that they uh take from books and they make the movies like eight million times longer what is this shit this didn't happen that is an, ex an extensive amount well i mean look at the newest season of a uh, game of thrones right yeah yeah you got that book's that book's not even out yet <laughs> exactly they're just making shit up right now unless they've got a roadmap of where the books are headed yeah i was yeah, thinking about the hobbit the hobbit was the one the that i was actually uh trying to reference Oh, sorry. Are they just trying to do, like, filler episodes for Game of Thrones, where they just do new stories that aren't relevant? I have no idea. I haven't watched I it since season four. I think they're trying to expand on past I'm, ideas. I'm so behind on Game of Thrones right now. Right. I mean, I'm behind on a lot of stuff. I mean, I never watched that, so, I guess. Mm. I'm missing out don't, on a lot. Don't, no, don't bother watching it. Just read the books. The books are really good. Oh? Yeah, they yeah are I'd good. probably rather read. Yeah, just read the books. Audio books is the way to go. Shut up, we're not sponsored. Not yet. You gotta Absolutely put it out not there. Sponsored. I fucking hate you guys. I don't, know if, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I have a couple dogs sitting behind me. Oh yeah, no, we fucking hear it. Oh, I can absolutely hear it. Yeah, it. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I heard something earlier today. Let me just cough loudly into my microphone. No, don't do that, please. Yeah, there go my earbuds. No. No. Uh, so, uh, uh, fucking Uncharted 4 came out. Any of you play that? No, but Sonic, Sonic was, uh, posting screenshots in the chat the other day. It looks really nice. It looks great. Yeah, it absolutely, it looks beautiful. So, the, uh, the only way I've ever consumed the Uncharted games was strictly through playthrough. Like, I watch people play it. Because I can't, I just, mm -hmm. I, I just can't be bothered to buy a Sony console to play them. And the story's fucking good. Wow. Really, I haven't owned a Sony console since PS2. So right. So it's been a while since I played anything like that. And yeah. I think the only thing I would buy it for would be The Last of Us, since that's I don't know probably the best game in the last three mm, years. Well, I don't know. I I I might argue with that, but I don't want to argue right now. Yeah, I agree. Oh well, yeah, it's totally up to whoever to say what the best game is, but that was really well received. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. Yeah, like like a fucking chocolate dog said Bloodborne. Bloodborne is just not my type of game. Yeah. Well yeah, I like the Dark Souls type games too, and I love those. I like I I enjoy being I, sane. Yeah, yeah they not enough to buy a PlayStation. 
Mm. Dark Souls 1 is just awesome. I love just the connected world, running around and doing things. But uh, 2 and 3, just they're kind of less like it, I guess. More back to Demon Souls or even Bloodborne 2. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Mm. I think... <laughs> I think I've played the beginning of Dark Souls 1 about 10 times, the first half, because after that, it's just, it's, it's so slow after the first half. Yeah, I can see that. Because my friend keeps telling me, like, oh, you gotta play Dark Souls, you gotta play Dark Souls. It's like, I just, I God, don't. I'll, I'll tell you to do it too, go play Dark Souls. I tried, but I, I like games for narratives, and like, Dark Souls, there's no fucking narrative to me. Uh, there is, but... You know, like a pretentious prick, I gotta say. It's it's there, you just gotta go look for it. Everything's there, you just gotta look for it. Just Not gotta look hard great. enough and in the worst places possible. I just wanna pop a game in and be like, take me away story. You know? Oh no, if well, you wanted a story game, did you play Undertale? Uh, I did. Undertale was a great game. And I felt bad Absolutely. because I murdered everyone. I only How killed Tony. <laughs> what? That's typical Deacon. Shut up! Uh, oh, but, speaking of games, and butts, uh, Million Dollars Butt, uh, launched on Kickstarter. Any of you back it? Yeah, well, they hit, like, a thousand percent of their goal. I don't remember the exact percentage. I can check right now, but they met their goal within two minutes. I was They have so much extra money now, it's ridiculous. They're at 727,000. Jesus, out of what, like 10,000? Out, like, yeah, 10, they, they're like 7, what is it, 7,000% their goal? I'm not, Jeez, I'm not yeah. great with math, but something around there. Yeah, I'm terrible at math too, but that's a lot of money. <laughs> right, no. Hopefully it lives up to its hype. Oh, this... I, I felt like the, uh, the people on the subreddit were talking about it, saying it's like, oh, it's just a Cards Against Humanity clone. But then you look at the Kickstarter, and obviously it's not representative of who, who likes it. Because they've yeah. already hit seven thousand percent of their goal. Obviously, they've hit some kind of audience. That, Those so, who can't afford it will diss it. Those who can will love it. So well, this is the thing with Cards Against Humanity clones, and I went. I mean, I, I got some knowledge in this uh, in this like area. Um, they're really popular right now because like ten years ago, or you know, yeah, ten years ago, like Apples to Apples came out, and nobody fucking knew how apples to play to it. Apples was the shit. Apples yeah. Apples to Apples was the but shit. But this is the thing. That this is the thing. Nobody fucking knew how to play it. Then Cards Against Humanity came out. All like the older, all the other people started playing this, and fucking, it makes a great game for anybody who you're playing with. Once Cards Against Humanity be yeah. became popular, everybody started adapting this whole like party type play genre, you know. And that's what that's what's popular right now in the in the card gaming industry, at least. It's just I mean, because anybody can pick it up. Salem. That's a that, of Salem. That's like a, even a. Like a spin on that too. Just yeah. Eight person party game it, to play. Because it's the thing, like, and everybody knows how to play it now. You can just like, hey, you want to play this game? How's it play? Cards Against Humanity. Oh, let's fucking play it. You know. It's a good industry nowadays. Yeah, but that being said, this, I wouldn't say it's strictly a Cards Against Humanity clone. I can see some variations on it, like you know, like type of like an investor mode or something. Like one person has well, ten thousand dollars or something. Did you guys read the actual description of what how the gameplay works? Yes. Yes. Yeah, it seems pretty cool. It's just yeah, um, so I can't put money towards it. The the fact that, you know, you get to embellish or downplay the other people's scenarios is mm -hmm. kinda cool too. Which I mean that's like a bunch of other card games out there, but in tandem with like the whole cards against humanity type thing. It, it reminds me a lot of Super Fight, if uh, you've ever played Super Fight. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tell me this: Is it is it kind of like Cards Against Humanity, where it's, it's one person decides and you kind of deliberate with them, or is it just everybody's a group comes to a consensus? It sounded like only one person picked. Yeah, there's a judge, mm -hmm. so that's All the same right. as Cards Against Humanity. Each player with a uh, each player will hand a full scenario. You know, one black card, one gold card, face down to the judge, and then that judge will pick like whatever you know. But then there's the whole like improv like. You know, you should pick this one because, you know, what about in this situation? So you can, like, kind of expand on the cards. Whereas with Cards Against Humanity, it's like, you know, your black card, your white card, done, dealt with. I mean, to be fair, that's the exact same. Black card, gold card, you're done. Then it's up to the judge picking. But this is 
it's kind of it. I don't know. The best way to explain it is it's Cards Against Humanity, but it's not. You know, it's familiar, yeah, but it's completely yeah, different. They said they did a lot of play testing, and I can, I guess I can see why. If you've got to do like three hundred cards that are all like interesting scenarios, yeah. Oh god, no! It's super easy to make cards like that. I read on Twitter that their first like, uh, uh, I guess because they've made so much money, they're expanding it to the base pack is actually going to be four hundred cards now. Really? Well, yeah, those are those are the stretch goals. Every stretch goal they hit is like four hundred, then the next one's five hundred, and then wow. it's crazy how they're doing it. Okay, let me. Did anyone else here besides me pick one up? Uh, I I'm uh, gonna wait to back it. I did not just because I don't have a ton of friends that are fans that are that are just around to play it. I mean, I'd I'd buy it and then it just so a shelf. Yeah. I'll I'll probably get it eventually. I just I just haven't bothered yet. Same with same with becoming a sponsor. I just haven't bothered yet. Yeah. Well, being a sponsor is great. I mean, theater mode. I did it for a long time. Theater mode now is a big big draw for it. It's oh amazing. yeah, theater mode is fucking amazing. Except yeah. theater mode is pretty much worth the entire five dollars. Except yeah. this past movie, yeah. it was AIDS. This past movie is terrible. It was terrible. No, that was great. I loved it. Without spoiling anything, it's it's fucking yeah. bad. If you haven't seen it, go see it. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm going I I want to. It's just I want to be able to watch the live uh the live like podcast and off topic and stuff. But I'm always always at work when they're on. Uh, yeah, that's kind of weird like that. Yeah. I guess it's more they're, they're targeting people who may or may not be at home at that point. No, they know yeah. who they're targeting. Teenagers. Yeah. <laughs> the, the unemployed Fucking... that sit at home and play video games. The <laughs> rebels of the world, as I like to call them. Technically, I'm not employed, though. I'm just quitting and moving to a new job. Damn. Sure. Wish I had a job I to quit. Hey, I'm moving up on the ladder, going from part time to full time. Oh, so. There you go. Hey, that's, really? that's good. That'll give you. That's something. That is something. And it's back to school. For what? What are you More schooling for? More money is good money. I'm going for, uh, for computer science. Ew. Nice. What does computer so science computer. entail, anyways? It's kind of just uh, anything. Anything you want in computers, you can oh, do programming. Oh, fucking gee, thanks. My whole program is just called computer science and engineering, so it could be, you know, building processors you're eventually gonna, if you wanted to do that job. You're gonna build stuff. Yeah, now. I'll be a programmer. You'll be a programmer. Yeah, I want to work on games, man. Yeah, you're so pro. Um, don't no, if I. I don't... Nah, games are my life. I might as well make it my job. See, no, that's what I thought too. That's exactly what I thought too. Until I got there, and three years into the program, I wanted to kill myself. I mean, that's your prerogative. Metaphorically, you might as well do it. <laughs> well, I I took um, it was called at my school. I t it was called interactive arts and science, which was basically video games. Uh, it's the fancy way of saying video nice. games. Nice. And out of the 12 of us that graduated my year i think there's two that are working in video games the rest of us either went somewhere else or went back to school because it's so hard to get a job in video games oh, yeah, that's also the that's the strength of a computer science degree it's so general that you know you don't get this but you can still do anything else it is a very close community too like it is how how you do it one job will like uh, will ring throughout all studios well, and even just getting that first job is almost impossible because you have to know the right people. To you gotta, the, the well, that's what the professors are for. Like, if you if you go into a reputable place, there's like there's got to be connections already. Where are you going to school? Uh, Ohio State. All right. Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, you'll have some connections there. Yeah, it'll be pretty yeah, cool. It'll probably it's probably a little different in Canada the way that works too. Canada, as I like to call it. Or Canadian. Oh, or north of the wall. <laughs> north yeah, of the wall, the wall. 10, years, 10 years later. <laughs> it is north of the yeah, wall. I'm, I'm definitely a white walker. I'm mm -hmm. such a white walker. North of the Donald Trump wall. Uh, so I got, I got a, like a, I guess I could be angry deacon for, I got, I got, I got so pissed yesterday. There you go. Yay. So, right, let it out, let it out. So I ordered, so I ordered, uh, some computer speakers cause oh, I nice. bought, I bought new monitors and they don't have built in speakers. Wah. So I I paid for one day shipping for him and it's like oh your package is out it'll be out today it'll be there before seven p.m. today 
I'm like, alright, 7 o'clock rolls around. Refresh the tracking info. It says, it'll be there by 9 p.m. today. All right, all right, I'll wait two more hours. And then, <laughs> then around like 9, 9.30 hits, and I'm like, what the fuck are these speakers? So I, I check on like the the actual shipping company that's shipping it uh, on track. If you've ever heard of them, they suck. Fuck you on track. I haven't. Oh, they're terrible. They, they do like the, uh, like the West Coast type one day delivery type thing. So wow. I check them and they're like, oh, it at like 6.30, it got rescheduled to be delivered the next business day. And I'm like, well, it's a Friday. Mm. The next business day is a Monday. Fuck you mean? I paid for one day shipping. So I go to Amazon. I'm like, hey, check this shit out. Look what they told me. And they said, oh, well, here's your one day shipping money back. They won't be there till about Tuesday. And I go, is there a reason for this? Because literally they were shipped from... I don't know, maybe 10, 15 miles from where I'm sitting right now? And they couldn't get to me in the course of 12 hours? Like, what the fuck? They're in demand, man. They're not! They're... they're, they're it, the, the thing is, I called them. The thing was like, oh, we weren't going to make it there within the half hour we had left. So we were scheduled it to deliver it the next business day. I'm like, what the fuck you mean you rescheduled it? They go, ah, we, we weren't going to make it. Like, I could fucking throw a rock to where your company is. How are you missing me? You should have just told them that you were going to come pick it up. Just but the point is I paid for one day shipping and they couldn't get it to it's me. Of it. it is exactly the never, principle of it. Never, never pay for one day shipping. It never works. The thing it was, the, this was the thing. The cost for shipping was like eight bucks, regardless. Cost for one day shipping was nine dollars. The thing, okay, because the thing was like $8 for normal shipping, and it would be here next week, or a dollar more, and it should be here the next day. How do you fuck that up? Okay, so that's a dollar day shipping. That makes sense. Exactly. It was just a dollar difference between waiting a week and getting it the next day, and they fucked it up. Only you ended up having to wait anyway. I'm, tr I'm, I'm debating, like, can I just cancel my order and ship it back to you, and then go buy new speakers, and that shit would be faster. Best Buy. I, I should have. I, I just like I just wanted speakers. I'm like I didn't even think. I'm like it's fucking 11:30. Let's go on Amazon. See what they got. Oh, speakers. Give them to me. Nope. <laughs> and now I'm pissed. I mean, I've had I've had problems like that too, where I'm just, just I tried to buy something offline and they sent me an email saying, "Hey, yeah, we'll send you an email in two days when it's shipped." And that email never came. And then about a month later, I called them back and I was like, hey, you going to send me my thing? You know, I've called and I waited a month for my package. And they go, oh, yeah, we emailed you like two weeks ago be that we didn't have your address. So could you give us your address? It's like, are you kidding me? Really? Well, and they, they I... couldn't get to me somehow. I gave them my phone number, my email, whatever. And they could not reach me. Amazon Jones cannot come soon enough. Right? It's just like, let me just throw up a flare. I'm over here. Fucking do it. Just Supply drop. Yeah. I mean, Amazon has that locker service where it's like, pick them up at the nearest warehouse near you. I'm like, I mean, I want to, but no, that's not what Amazon's about. Exactly. I wish I lived in more... Just don't... Go ahead. Just don't buy things from the internet. I just, I want... Like, moments like these... Moments like this, I wish I live in, like, Texas or Seattle. Someplace technologically advanced. I no, I live in California! Uh, California is a technology... So, not... I'm so tired. I live in the desert. It's not. I just want to be someplace technologically advanced where problems like this don't happen. You know? Just... I'm so mad. So you want to be somewhere civilized? Yes, I want to be civilized. I can confirm California is not civilized. It's not. People trying to cut you off for no reason. <laughs> is it like Mad Max there? Yeah, basically. It's a really good biography of California. Is it a biography if it's about a state? No. Sure. Stateography? There you Maybe go. It's geography. Thank you. It's a geo That's a really good geography <laughs> movie. Go fuck yourself, Ariel. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I went to school. See what California is good for? Nothing. Nothing. God damn it. Anybody else mad about something or got a story to tell? I mean, I could tell stories about work. 
That sounds boring. About terrible customers. <laughs> that sounds I don't even know, worse. I ice cream thrown at me. Ooh, I mean, that's that's a normal. D no, don't, don't ask it like that. <laughs> that's a little awkward. Yeah, I'd rather them not lick it off. <laughs> sure. Don't touch me. Did they wink at you when they threw it? Nah, man. They were like, "We don't want this shit," and then they threw it at me. All right. Forward contacts. Where do you work? Or did work? Did work. Uh, uh. Let's see. If anyone lives in Ohio, it is Stoddard's uh, Frozen Custard in Ohio. All right. Yeah. Have to make sure to visit there one day. I got family in yeah, Ohio. Yeah, go visit. And throw ice cream at them. Weird that Mexicans live in Ohio. Nah, man. There's plenty of uh, plenty of Indians and Asians and. Uh, Aren't hey. there a lot of Amish people there? Yes. Oh yeah. Amish. I used to work on a. Oh, you mean you took an ice cream truck up to a uh, like an outlet store chain, and we there would be Amish people just buying clothes there. I don't know why. I thought they make their own clothes. Make the best cheesecake. I know, and there, and there would be like Muslim women wearing the. Like, whoa, 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 whoa! You can't say that. Absolutely, I can't <laughs> say that. We, we call... I'm not saying it. Never mind. Continue. I don't know. I don't know why they would buy clothing. If, you know. The PC. <laughs> Oh my god. Sonic! That was good. I got that on film. He's being so inappropriate right he now. He is. Oh my god, what a PC person. Thanks. <laughs> I do my best. Yeah. No, not you. Um, any of you play Civilization? <laughs> Civilization? Yeah, yeah, I put a good fair amount. You hear that uh, 6 is coming out soon or something? I oh do. yeah. Thoughts? Now. Thoughts? I mean... I'm ready don't for know. The problem about Civilization is it's kind of just the game copied over again. It is. I mean, you new when I saw they were doing something where it's like you build parts of your city on different tiles. And there's like sections where you have buildings instead of just one city tile. And that sounded really interesting. And I don't know. I mean, Beyond Earth left a completely sour taste in my mouth. Really? I heard it was just kind of eh. I hated it. Yeah. Civ 5 is decent enough. Civ 5 is I with DLC. DLC is good. I mean, I never got Brave New World, but I did get Gods and Kings, and I thought that was a pretty good, yeah. pretty good addition. All I have is Gods and Kings, and people yell at me for that. Although, I don't know if you have the same problem as me, but if I did multiplayer with friends, it, uh, it would slow down around like the 100th turn or so. Around the hundredth turn. Wow. Look, it would get so complicated and there would be so many moves happening, it would take ten minutes to get to the next. That's why you all go, like, at the same time. We do. We all go at the same time, and then the AI has to take ten minutes to decide what to do. No AI, first off. It's me and one other person, and then the rest are AI. Fucking 1v1 Dang. me. Fight me. Ooh. 1v1 you and Civ. Wow, we're just adding more and more events for RTX 2017. Oh yeah, we should talk about RTX 2017. Uh, we're not. Uh, we don't. We don't gotta talk about the Fight Club though. It's fun. All right. No. Fight also, club, also, uh, why are we talking about? Why are we talking about 2017 when 2016 is around the corner? I can't make it to 2017. We're not ready for this year. We're not ready for this year. Homeless washing. That's what it was. I will. I will wash homeless people. <laughs> Have you ever been 18 and tried to get a hotel room? It's I mean. Possible. I, I've done it. Many times, actually. It's impossible. It's not, though. Me and friend, I'm going, I'm going to Cincinnati to see two concerts this July. And Expander we had over to here. call around 30 hotels saying, look, it's, we're 18, probably... can we check into this hotel? And they would go, no, you can't. Just so double my security deposit. It's definitely just an Ohio thing. Yeah. Ohio. We did get one, we got one hotel that said, all right, you're 18, that's fine. And we go... Okay, and they go, and he goes, "Wait, are you from out of state?" We go, "No, is that a problem?" And he goes, "Yeah, that is, uh, no, that isn't a problem. You just can't stay here." Because everybody knows like, kids uh, in Ohio are assholes. If we had been from Kentucky, we could have stayed at this hotel, but apparently, because we're from Ohio, we can't. They would have felt bad if you were from Kentucky. Yeah. <laughs> like all these poor kids, they need a place I to stay. If I were from Kentucky. Yeah, I feel bad for people that are from Kentucky. I feel bad for Americans. I feel bad for hey, you, hey, White hey, Walker. Hey, hey. Oof. 
Oh, Oof. What? Heroin? What? Oh, yeah. Where, where I live, heroin's become a big problem. Yeah, California. Anything and everything under the sun is getting smoked. Yeah, you can get your hands on anything. You just mm. gotta know the right people. Shouldn't have said that, though. True. I incriminated what myself. What? The right people or the wrong people? I'm, I mean, I know both. Depends on your point of view. Yeah. It depends on your moral compass. What do you think right and wrong is? Drugs are bad, okay? I mean, they're not, but... Look, did you listen to what he said? Yes, I, I heard, I've seen South, the South Park movie. I think everyone's seen Just the South the Park movie. movie. Alright, well, fuck you. I've seen like almost all the seasons. Alright, yeah, me too. Not alone there. I get an aneurysm from talking to you guys. <laughs> You're welcome. We need a shirt that says that. A shirt that says I get an aneurysm from talking to you guys? Yep, to you. Alright, I mean, I'll, I'll make it. We'll schedule that for 2017. Yep, what? There. Fucking you assholes. 2017 is a big, 2017 is a big year for us. Yeah, yeah, it's huge year. Apparently, you guys have shit planned I never even heard about. There'll be a Discord it. panel. There'll be homeless washing. There'll be a fight club. Then we don't talk about the fight club. <laughs> Sorry, never mind. Meet me, <laughs> meet me at convention hall A for not fight club related activities. <laughs> So what, there will, however, homeless washing. So what, shut up about the homeless washing. So what else is happening? Uh, we talked about million dollars, but talked about the shitty yep. fucking what do you call it? The shitty theater mode that came out. <laughs> that movie was so Did bad. I'm sorry. The movie was bad, but it's supposed to be bad. You're supposed to laugh at it. I, I mean, there were a lot of tits. That's a plus. True. Uh, well, yeah. So. What? Thanks, Ariel. <laughs> what did Ariel say? I'm pretty sure she, she said it, though? Is it though? Yeah. I mean, I made a bear. She, I mean, the... she needs to watch it to understand. I know, I'm, I'm just going to say, compared to the first half, the second half was a porn. <laughs> it, was. it was. It was that bad. It was bad. <laughs> oh, man. Look, that, that lady, know. though, that, that, that wheel kick, straight to the face. Oh it was so good. Oh my god. <laughs> did you see they had a fight coordinator? He, what did he do? <laughs> I don't know, man. Fight I her, and that mouse better. at the end was the best actor in the whole movie. Dude. I don't know, I kind of like the chick at the beginning that got her skull bashed in. <laughs> she was, yeah, she didn't have a lot of lives, but she delivered them. I guess. Oh, uh, I'm interested but also not interested. I might need to actually do that. I might need you to do. actually go You really it. need to. Bashed, it's slightly great. tapped. Ugh. So did anyone pick up Doom? That came out this week. No, I didn't bother with it. No. I mean, I thought, I thought about it, but I saw a bunch of people saying how it was just too similar to things that are already out. Yeah. yeah. It just, it just came out at a bad time. Meh, I just, I don't, I don't really know. I'm, I'm, Twitch shooters like that have never been interesting. I don't know, maybe, I, I feel like it tried to fill a role that Overwatch is trying to do, but then they just didn't do it well enough anyway. Oh my god, can we talk about Overwatch for like, sure. ever, forever? You, no, you guys love it way too much. It's so good! Did you play it? It's very good. No, I didn't play. Then you video don't video understand games. the love I for it. Not play a lot of video games. It I don't. Awesome. You, you, it's it's just Overwatch is something special. Okay. It's good. It is really good. Okay. Uh, it's filling that niche now where it's like you've got your your real realistic air quote shooters like Call of Duty and whatnot, yeah. and then you've got Overwatch, which is just casual. Oh yeah, yeah, it's not realistic at all. But I just my Twitter feed has blown up with nothing but Overwatch since the beta ended. It's like people, people are just choking this game down, and and it's not like we don't know what's gonna be on the full release because we've basically played the full game, you know. 
Yeah, they didn't say they yeah. were they were working on anything after the beta, did they? No, they said that's about the full game is what we played during the beta. Yeah, just patch updates and stuff like that. Character balance, whatnot. Yeah. People are going fucking Doom, COD, realistic, ha ha ha. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, have you ever played Arma? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have. That shit just like. That is complicated. That hurts my head. Now, Daisy, Daisy was like. I tried Daisy for like an hour, and it's like, all right, give me my money it back, just got Steam. Competitive. Yeah. That, that depends. Did you play the mod or did you play the uh, standalone? Like the standalone. 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 Personally, the standalone is better customizably, like having stuff that looks better. But the mod just had better gameplay. Well, I mean, it was 15 minutes into it. It's the same thing. Oh, look, a house. Nothing in here. Yep. Oh, look, a house. Man, Nothing you, in here. You would have hated the mod because there were about three different houses you could go in. They were all the same. Oh, I've seen the mod gameplay. It's just like, no, thank you. But, uh... Boy, yeah. was it stressful, though. Yeah, no. Uh, it's not it like... Eh. Get invested. No, but, like... I don't. It's, I'm so tired of early access games not delivering what they promise. Yeah, I mean, I bought that what two years ago, the standalone, and it's still not even beta. Didn't they just break it into two games, like King of the Hill mode, and then like what? I'm pretty. Uh, or I'm H one Z one. Yeah, sorry, but that's just a perfect yeah, example. I, like, what the fuck? We should probably change away from video games so Ariel could speak on some stuff. Oh, yeah, um, so I bought a purse yesterday, and it goes perfect with my eyes. Dude, what the, what? Uh, was it made from, uh, you know, Flash or anything? Oh, fucking Louis- Oh, shut up! I didn't even think about that connection! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I didn't even- Oh, uh, dude, no, Louis Vuitton, all the time. Oh, God. Coco Chanel? Give me those red bottoms. Oh, no. What were you saying, Harry? Harry, would you like to bring us on to our next topic? <laughs> yeah, change the topic. Okay, what I was going to say, I was going to say, why don't we alienate most, if not all, of the people that are probably listening? Um, and how about I tell you about uh, a Tinder date I went on a couple oh, years God. ago that was literally the worst thing I've ever done. Yeah. All right. I'm all right, tell us why you swiped left, Blaine. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, okay. So I went... Um, I was meeting this guy. He lived in a town, well, a city that was like about 25, 30 North minutes away. North of the wall. So, uh, yeah. And uh, so I was like, okay, I'll meet you at this Tim Hortons. It's like a coffee place. And uh, we can oh, grab shit. a coffee. Yeah. <laughs> and we can grab a coffee and like, you know, basically just, because it was for mm. the first time meeting him. So I was like, okay, it's like this works for me. So I'm at the Tim Hortons and this... Okay, so keep in mind, I'm 5'9", so I'm pretty tall for a girl. And this yeah. guy walks into the Tim Hortons. He was maybe about 5'6". I drink. And he was carrying a skateboard. What? <laughs> yeah, who's... <laughs> who's got the train in the background? It's the oh, hype yeah. train. Keep going. <laughs> the hype train, right. Okay. So he walks in and, like, awkwardly, like, I was like, hey... And I was like, oh no, he's so short. Dude, how to be seen in five seconds. <laughs> yeah. So I grabbed a coffee. We talked for a bit. And he was like, so my friends are having a party. It's like five minutes from here. Like, do you want to go? And I was like, oh, fine. Wow. Like, whatever. You, you're you're so small. I could beat you up. It'll be fine. I was going to say, that's how a rape yeah, starts. Right. But you got you got like four inches on him. Yeah. So uh, we went to his friend's place, and his friends actually ended up being a lesbian couple. Oh, nice. Did you join them? Nice. And he proceeded... <laughs> that coming. He proceeded to drink so much tequila, he got wasted. That and happens. I was sitting there, yeah, I was so awkward. Like, I drank a beer, and was like, oh, this is fun. Your friends are nice. At, like one o'clock in the morning i was like okay i gotta go home and he's like sitting like right beside me doing like that drunken lean and i was like okay i'm gonna go and he's like yeah i should go home too i'm gonna skateboard home I was like, oh. <laughs> dude you're gonna, get, you're gonna get pulled over for drunk driving that is that is literally the worst idea the worst idea you will get either you know 
you'll hit a ditch and like die of a broken neck. <laughs> or you'll get hit by a car. That's a terrible idea. And die of a broken he's car. Also wearing vans and a tap out shirt. Yep. And did he have his hair flipped to the side? Shirts. He was. I think he was wearing a toque. So I. I don't really remember. This was a little while ago, so it's the details are a little fuzzy. And uh, so I was like, okay, you know what? Not only are you shorter than me, but you're also fucking wasted. So I'm going to just <laughs> put your ass in my passenger seat. I'm going to drive your ass home. I'm never going to talk to you again. God. <laughs> so I drove him home. I dropped him off. Yeah. He texted me the next day. He's like, I'm sorry I got so drunk. I, I totally understand if you never want to talk to me again. And I was like, that was the worst first impression I have ever had of anyone, even including that guy that didn't talk to me on our first date. So yeah. I'm whoa, 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 How do you go on a first date without talking to the other person? Was he just like a strong silent type? Was he a mute and he only knew sign language? No, he was just so awkward. He just didn't talk to me. Like, I would have preferred that story over drunken midget. Okay, well, do you want me to tell it? Because oh, I'll tell it. Tell it. Yeah. Tell it like it is. Yeah. Pre preach. All right. So another guy, another internet date thing. Same dude. I uh, so I was like, I was like, hey, let's meet at the Tim Hortons in town. Of course. Is that the what is? Thing? Is this the only place in Canada? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. God. So, we went so, to yeah, the ice so I so I I went I went um. So I met him at the Tim Hortons there, and I... It the was coffee nice shop, summer, so please. I got myself an ice cap. Yeah. So I got myself an ice cap, because I'm addicted to ice caps. And he sat... He went and grabbed a uh, carton of chocolate milk. And wow! How old is this guy? Um, he told me... Uh, when was this? this? is a couple years ago. He I didn't tell you anything, because he said he didn't speak. But, okay. <laughs> his, okay, his, his profile said that he was... I think he was in his mid-20s. Look, this, you're never too old for 20, no, 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 25 drinking chocolate milk in a coffee shop. <laughs> I just, I just wanted to paint the picture. Continue. <laughs> okay, so, sat down, and I was like, hey, what's up? Like, how's it going? And he was like, oh, it's okay. Like, super awkward. And I was like, you know what? That's fine. Like, I'm used to it. Like, guys get really awkward. Okay. And, uh, so I proceeded to tell him about my day. I, like, went to soccer that day, and I talked about my horse, because I always talk about my horse. Yep, true. And I, like, kind of tried to ask him a couple questions, and he, like, kind of gave me yes or no answers, not really, like, latching on to anything. And I, about 20 minutes in, I was like, you know what? This was nice, but I'm going to go. <laughs> and then, and then, after I left, he texted me, and he was like, I'm sorry, that was my fault. Like, I was, I was so, I was nervous. I didn't know what to do, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, well, whatever. Like, it happens. I'm like, I, I'm not really interested in seeing you again. And he's like, oh, why not? Why not? Like, what did I do? I'm like, I don't know. I just, I just don't feel like it. Because he didn't he say like, anything. <laughs> yeah, he was like, whatever. Like, you, all you did was talk about your horse and soccer and, like, whatever. <laughs> And I was like, oh, now you're getting mad at me because you didn't talk. So I just, whatever, fuck You should have asked him about his horse. I mean, oh my god. <laughs> what? So, don't go bad. word of advice, if you go out with someone, talk to them. Literally. You, and the, met Tim Hortons. The worst thing you can do is she'll do what you did and just get up and leave. That's the worst thing that'll happen. Yep. Or, you know, you could skin them and make leather purses out of them. Shut up about that movie! It's terrible! <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's terrible, man. It's just funny. Seriously, though, I don't understand why people just can't talk on a day. Like, what? I, I'm yeah, trying. I can understand it. No, I, I literally can't. I'm trying to think what was going through this guy's head. Like,. Do you ever sat down and try to talk to somebody who you've never really met before? before yeah, life? it's super easy. Nah, it's not. I'm such an outgoing person. I will call them a skank. Yeah, there is the problem. The problem? You just call that a problem? Well, it's the, the antithesis. It's the other side. I guess, but... I just, I just don't understand how people can't say things. 
episode, does this happen more often than not? You get the silent Tinder date or the drunk short midget? Only <laughs> <anecdotes> <laughs> the drunk days. short midget. Oh, did she, did she die? Goodbye, Ariel. I think Ariel might have passed on to the other side. <laughs> they, they got her. <laughs> they got her. The midget came back for revenge. Her phone froze. Hold on. Well, now this is just ruining the podcast. True. I thought well, we had I, integrity here. I guess we could move on to my thing now. Oh. We could talk about ranks. Oh, we can't. How about we do that? So, um, top 10 still. Yeah, top 10 came in four days ago and I'm now the, Ooh. what, seventh most active person in the chat? Same. Well, not seventh, tenth. No, ninth now. Sorry, number six. Sorry, my phone froze. That's fine, I didn't miss anything. Excuses. Seventh? Oh, I'm seventh now. Yeah, we're just talking about ranks in the chat. Yeah, what happened to Deacon? <laughs> They've abandoned this man. They'll take over the mind. Riot! 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 Shut All up, right, Ariel. Plans for, plans for 2017. Yeah, take over. Take over. Shut up. Uh, what? Um, God, I lost track. Uh, Vendetta. What were you saying about 10? Rank 10? Yeah, the top, the top 10 that we have for uh the uh, server. You mean the thing that doesn't matter to me at all? It absolutely matters. It doesn't matter. I am the sixth what most active that? person in the chat. The most active person is Jordan. And I got I'm bumped saying. to rank 11. So I'm 11. Man, I wish I cared enough to talk to you people. <laughs> I could give a shit what rank I'm at. Oh, wait, 40, 46 minutes. Oh, I guess we got. Oh, um, fucking CT, you have an announcement to make with Pan or something? I do. Let's hear so, it. So, yeah, me and Pan have been uh, working on a new show for the uh, community channel. Oh, my God. And uh, starting in a few weeks, we're going to be getting together a game show, an online game show. So, Jeopardy! If you have ideas for games, it's not going to be Jeopardy. It's going to be a whole uh, bunch of. Wheel of Fortune! Games. Not Wheel of Fortune, but, you know. Charades! <laughs> so, uh,. Let us know what Wait. games you want. Charades doesn't work over voice chat. Um, <laughs> vocal charades. Hedge is just shouting on the spot, on the spot, on the spot. <laughs> is he really just spamming that? All right. Yep. Well, uh, he's gonna get muted now. <laughs> yeah. No, that's his own fault. That's his own fault. <laughs> <laughs> Just got snitched on. Oh yeah. yeah. So uh, thanks for the snitch, Ariel. Uh, nope. Yeah. Like Stop reasons. posting my thing, Vulture. What is that? <laughs> it's, it's so perfect. God damn it. I don't get it. I don't. I don't. That <laughs> day. On a whole level. That day, you guys were just fuck. You were laying into every. I don't know what was up. Or was it this morning? I'm. What, what were we talking about? I'm so far gone. This morning was a long time ago. It was, was it? It was. I had. I don't remember what happened this morning. It was twelve hours ago. I didn't have coffee you yet, so. Yeah, I was gonna say you got up, complained for a little while, and then went back to bed, didn't you? Yeah, I did do that. I did. What was I complaining about though? Uh, it was too shipping. early, and you couldn't it think. Was the shipping. Oh, shipping. What were you shipping? No, 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 the, no, uh, that speakers, was not this morning. It? That wasn't this morning. Well, what is he talking about then? The, I don't know, like way earlier, like at like, it was like maybe nine o'clock my time, like 9am, oh. you, you showed up on Discord and you were like, I can't do this right now, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> I know I said that, but it, today was not my day. Oh my <laughs> gosh. All right, well, if no... If nobody has any more stories or anything, I think we're done here. I have hours worth of stories. You shut your mouth. Podcast. You shut your mouth. <laughs> we miss you, BCD. This is copywritten. We got plenty of podcasts left. Do we? Because I want to wrap this up soon because well, we game, night game night start game night starts in ten minutes. We got the week after that. The week after, after that, that. The week that. after that. The week after that. Shut up. And... All right. Well, this is this is the end. Uh fucking enjoy your game night oh, guys okay.
Be be have fun. It was fun. I enjoyed this one. Yeah. This was. Did you? It was more. Yeah. I wanted. I wanted to yeah. be more relaxed. Short time uh, typer. First time caller. First time <laughs> call. Shut up. <laughs> and we're going to the lines. Caller, what can now. I do for you? All right. Yeah, we're done. Go play games now. Bye. 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 Bye.